Last weekend, the LPGA Tour was in Thailand, and that's where we caught up with one of the rookies looking to make her mark, Cheyenne Woods. Anna Whiteley went to find out a bit more about the 24-year-old, who of course shares the most famous surname in the game of golf with her uncle, Tiger. Cheyenne, thank you so much for joining us here on Golfing World. First of all, congratulations on your performance at Q School at the end of last year. Now a full member on the LPGA, you must be feeling pretty positive going into the new season. Yeah, it's been a great uh, past six months really um, to play at Q School and earn my card. And now I'm out here on LPGA full time, so it's been great. Um, it feels good to finally be out here after all the years um, of building up to it and having this as my goal. It's nice to be here and and know I have a full schedule here on tour. Now, despite just being a rookie, you've already found yourself in quite an integral role in golf. There is no role model for African-Americans or has there ever been a winner on the LPGA? How important is that role to you and how aware are you of it? It's a unique role to be in. Um, both Sedina Parks and I will be on tour this year playing LPGA, so it's exciting to have her there with me too. Growing up, there weren't really any African-American women that I looked up to on LPGA that were playing. Um, there was Renee Powell, who was out there, LaRae Suggs, um, but none on a consistent basis to where you really got to know the faces and know the names. So I think for Sadina and I to be out here this year is special. Um, I hope that we have a positive impact on the game and a positive impact on girls or boys who are looking at women's golf. Do you feel like there is a bit of a social responsibility to blaze the trail like Tiger did? I think that just comes naturally, um, just with who we are and um, maybe who identifies or relates with us. But we're just going to come out here and play the game we've always played. Uh, nothing changes for me. I just come out here and play. Um, you know, I have my goals that I, that I want to set and that I want to accomplish this year. So that's my main mindset, um, just to continue being me, being a golfer out here on tour. Now, obviously, having an uncle like Tiger Woods has brought you a certain amount of attention <laughs> since day one. But on the other hand, you are one credible player in your own right. What have been the pros and cons of having the Woods name? I would say it's a majority pros, really. I think even if there were cons, they work as a pro. With the media and a lot of spotlight attention on me since I was almost 10 years old, a lot of people would look that, at that as maybe a con. But for me, I always looked at it as preparation. Um, because you need to be able to deal with that type of stuff. Um, Tiger deals with it. Um, almost every major superstar in their sport has to deal with it. So that's definitely a pro and the other pro obviously is the connection with Tiger and to have him as a role model. Um, he's always been a great motivation and inspiration to me growing up and watching him play. We did see you have your first big pro win last year at the Australian Ladies Masters. How did that feel lifting the trophy and having your first taste of victory? It felt great. I mean, it was different because I had won in college and I had won in junior golf, but as a professional, it's different. Um, you know, you're playing against the best in the world, the best in Europe, the best in the States, the best everywhere. So for me, it was just um, a sense of accomplishment within myself and just knowing that all the hard work has paid off. Now, I read a really lovely story about you when you were eight or nine in one of your first experiences of tournament golf. Tell us about that. <laughs> I had grown up watching my whole family play basketball or um, football here and there. So I always grew up around sports where the highest score was the best. So when I started playing golf, I thought that that same concept came with golf. So I shot 91, I think, for nine holes and I was the highest score on the, the scoreboard. And I could have swore I got first place because I had the highest score by far. But uh, my mom quickly told me that that's not how it works in golf. So since that moment up until now as a full member of the LPGA, what do you think has been your biggest driving force? Um, just myself and knowing what I want. And if I want it, I know that I can get it. So um, being on the LPGA, being a champion, that's what I want. So I won't give up. And um, you know, I, I really believe in myself. So I know that anything is possible. So I'm excited for the future. Cheyenne, it's been wonderful to talk to you at the beginning of your rookie year. We wish you all the best of luck for 2015 and thanks for joining us here on Golfing World. Thank you. Thanks for having me.